Ken Pater. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing these silly things. <laughs> You won the six hour race. Yes, yes. How is it? I, I didn't really get out on the six hour uh, course. This, How was it out there? I think the six hour course is way better than the cross country course. There's a lot of really fun tech stuff on the, um, you're, on the road, you're on the road for a little bit. So some of the road crossings are like, sometimes there's a marshal, sometimes there's not. Um, but once you get back in on the trail on that section over there, it's a great section of like fun, hard, techy stuff. There's a couple of like punchy climbs, like I can't green. Um, but just like you gotta pick your lines, you gotta be careful through there and stuff. And then there's some more op like things that open up and kind of flowy like the side, but to me like the six hour course is better just because you get a lot better variety of terrain and stuff. Are you in training for, for stuff this long? You get out some long rides or you just jump um, into this? I was, you know, I was thinking about the, I, I did do a four hour ride and uh, you know, a handful of threes, like a lot of the rides over the winter were like, I get a good three hour, pretty hard ride in typically and then we followed up with another like two or three hours. So, so I felt like I could, you know, have the fitness for it. I didn't feel like, I don't know, everyone knows me from doing 100 milers and I haven't done them for a while so people think I still have 100 miler fitness. I'm like, I don't have that anymore. But that for life, um, it just stays in you. Yeah, I mean, I think you know how to handle feeling like crap or, you know, or just, you know, you know how to mentally kind of get through it and you know the little kind of, tricks or things you need to do to keep yourself going. So. How bad did you feel out there today? Um, I, felt, I felt okay. I Like I didn't feel, I didn't, first lap, um, I kind of pushed it a bit because she actually started us in waves. So, and she started this woman last, so you had to like work your way through some people, which meant some aggressive passing sometimes. So I pushed it a bit then, and then I kind of, you know, settled in, tried to remember to take the free speed when the free speed's there and, you know, but um, I felt pretty good. Say free speed. Yeah. Free speed. You know, like you know, when you're like if cresting a hill and like no, is, is no. it yeah. that kind of bike race? Shh, no. Um, no. Uh, you know, when you're cresting a hill, like and there's you know this long descent, like go with it, like because you can get more, like go faster if you're willing to just pedal a little bit versus you know dogging a climb or something like that. So um, that's fun. It's a good, it's a good course out there. So yeah, there's a little. Uh, uh, and then uh, coming back through and catching the cross country racers, I thought they were starting at noon, so I was hoping I'd get through my third lap without having to deal with them. And then they all like caught up to me on the ridge, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, you know, because they're all like ready to go. It was a little annoying. <laughs> and then. Uh, but then, but then they kind of inspire because you kind of like, you just get, you know, your legs moving again and stuff, so. And then I was like, oh, thank God they're on their course and I can go enjoy the quietness on the other the side. The far reaches yeah, yeah. of Burlingame State <laughs> exactly. Park. All right, great job today, Karen. Thanks, thank thanks. You.